Hey, hi guys, I'm still out and about. I'm actually in Chichester now, and we're at Chichester Cathedral. Can you see that, guys? Yeah, so it's not a great day. It's absolutely old. And there's St. Richard. There he is, the man himself, St. Richard. Wow. There you go. And the spiral in the background, guys. So yeah, someone else, isn't it? And I don't know what that is, but the old part of the cathedral, maybe I don't know. Okay, guys, catching a bit. We're gonna go in, yeah. Hi, guys. We're actually in Win uh, Chichester Cathedral. We've got a lady here that's gonna tell us a bit about um, the goings on and when this place was built and the history. Well, welcome. Anyway. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. So here we have. The timeline telling you that this building has been here for 950 years wow. and for 400 years before that there was a cathedral down on the coast near Selsey, about six miles away, okay. but William the Conqueror said that cathedrals had to be in towns. Right. So they built what we have here between about 1076 and about 1120 in the Romanesque style with the round topped arches Beautiful. and the beautifully proportioned levels which take your eye up and down the, down the cathedral and William the Conqueror brought this style of architecture with him from Normandy. Um, in the 13th century it was trendy to have chapels alongside the, the aisles so they pierced holes in the outside wall of the aisles and added chapels on both sides okay. but by that time the architectural style had changed from the round top of the Romanesque right. to the pointed top of the Gothic style okay. so as you can see through there the pointed yeah, yeah, it's top beautiful. is there yeah, so yeah. as you go around you'll see a, a mixture. Sometimes it's the pointed arches, some, and that's the sort of more recent building. Mm -hmm. As I say, more recent, probably yeah. um, 700 years old. Wow. And, um, and, the, and the original round-topped arches there. In the middle of, your, of the leaflet, we're standing here. A little bit of information about some of the lovely things you can see in here. If you choose to follow it numerically, take you on a circular tour, but there's far more to see than we can get on a piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. So if you'd rather wander, do that. Yeah. Um, a gentleman here wearing the red sash, if you have any questions, he'll happily okay. give you more information. Okay. And um, I'm afraid the central part of the cathedral, the other side of the stone screen, is blocked off because we've got electricians going up and down okay. on a cherry picker doing work. Okay. But you can get round behind okay. and this lovely tapestry that we can see down there, you can get a closer view uh, by sort of looking through the, the, the grills as you get down that way. Okay. But I'm afraid you can't going to stand in front of it mm. at the moment. In the north transept, that's this bit over here, we're hosting a tapestry by an artist called John Craxton. There's an exhibition of his work at our local uh, art gallery and they didn't have room for that tapestry. Oh, wow. So it's very lovely. So if you okay. want, to, want to have a look at that, you're more than welcome. So lots to see, Thank far you. more than, as I say, than we can get on a piece of paper. <coughs> okay. But enjoy being here. Thank and you. Uh, you and do you still have a, a, a service here as such? Oh, yes, yes. There's always um, an early morning service okay. and uh, at about 8 o'clock. Okay. Then... Um, there's always an even song at about half past five. If okay. you're around at half past five, you're welcome to come to that. Okay. And um, other big services during the week as well. And then Sunday, there are about, about three, three or four services in the morning. Okay. Uh, and then an even song okay. in the middle of the afternoon. So, so this is Church of England? It is Church of England, okay. yes. Okay, yes. that's great. That's all right. Since Henry VIII. Okay, then. Church of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Since Mary Queen we've, of Scots. We've, we've had our battles, haven't we, the Church of England? We have, we have, we have, yeah. <laughs> but we're united like everybody else now. <laughs> What's your name? Sue. Sue, nice to meet you. Thanks well, very enjoy much. Enjoy being here. Thank you. Lovely thank you. Job. You're cold. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Sue. It yeah. must be horrible. I'll be, yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you, <laughs> so Sue. It's lovely to have met you. And you. Oh, thank you. Nice. So there you go, guys. You never know where you're going to end up with me. So I guess, guys, that's a baptism font, I would imagine, or it would be. It would be a baptism fun because the Church of England don't bless themselves like the Catholics. 
or, or as in Catholicism. So yeah, so this is the chapel of St. George, guys. There you go. So here we are. So individual chapels knocked out. And these are battle, uh, so what you see in front of you there, so that's, that's the people that had probably died in either the first or the second um, world war. Um, and here we have a picture of St. George, and everybody knows that St. George and the dragon, and St. George there, for sure, is slaying the dragon. Isn't that beautiful? And then again, to the local regiments. And the stained glass here is absolutely amazing. Look at that. How long did that take? Well, then we continue forth, guys. And just to give you an idea just how big this chapel is, it's massive. Again. So I would imagine that's the bishops of the archbishops again there. And you can light a candle. Uh, and then the crypt. Someone's laid to rest there. Yeah. Let's see who it is, guys. There you go, beneath the deposit the remains of Francis Deer, the square alderman of the city, who through a very long course of professional practice as attorney at law and in the official capacity of registrar of two spiritual courts, acquired the envial reputation of unspotted integrity. Here we are again, to the glory of God and in loving memory of Charles John Ridgeway, Bishop of Chichester, 1908 to 1919. He died on 28th of February, 1927. Another remembrance for the men that died in the, uh, in the wars, who gave them, themselves up for us, for the Royal Air Force. And there's Chi. She's still here. She's still going around with me. Yeah. Here we go. That's where we came in. And of course the pulpit. What an amazing. That's amazing, guys. Look at that stained glass. I'm in awe when I see that. It's an amazing work of art, really. Wow. Yeah. Here we go. It looks like, I don't know, all the English kings and the like and the royalty have no idea being Scottish. But that is totally and utterly amazing. And here we go. John Langton, Bishop of Chichester, from 1305 to 1337. Well, let's just feel this, guys. Yeah, so just as I thought, it's not marble, it's sandstone, hence the reason it's, uh, 
hence the reason it's, it's kind of weathered and decayed. So there's the flutes of the, the church organ. Yep, but that's out of bounds to us meantime. It's out of bounds to us meantime because they're doing electrical work. Robert Sherburne, Bishop, uh, Bishop of Chichester, 1508 to 1536. There you go. So here lies the tomb of Richard, Prince Samuel of Arundel. And you can see that even in death, a couple of clutching hands, which was rarely seen um, in that era. Um, again, limestone and sandstone doesn't weather well, even though it's indoors because of the moisture. So this is the latter part, so these were round, and back in the day these were round, but this is the more gothic pointed style. Um, and if you look at that ceiling, that is absolutely and utterly amazing. Once again the stained glass windows. Yeah. Behold this on your day off. Quite fortunate, really, to be honest. And again, and this is in memory of William Huskinson, a representative of the city and parliament. You could imagine him being there, couldn't you? Well, That was so nice to see. Yeah. Here we are again. Kirsty, if you were here, you could ring that bell. Here we go again. Gilded in gold. Something to see. This one. Just the cathedral. Um, yes, amazing, good to see. There you go, on the outside, in the Gothic style, the points of the archways. Yeah, and the old part. I don't put it up, but you can put it up in the way. Yeah. So yeah, certainly different, different down from uh, from what we normally have, guys. Yeah, certainly a different down from what we normally have. But as I've already said before, and I even said to Chi, you never know with me where you're going to end up, who you're going to see or meet. So, take it easy. Hi guys, so that's me, I'm in Costa Cafe here in Chichester. And um, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna sign off on it. Uh, so, different vlog today. Um, came to Chichester, didn't expect to end up in Chichester Cathedral, but it was nice, it was quite enlightening to be honest. So the guide, very informal, which you knew her stuff. Uh, what else can I tell you? So, uh, until the next vlog, uh, you can see where the cost is here. So, until the next vlog, take it easy, guys. Please subscribe.